What's going on guys? So right now we're just getting an AMD earnings out of the way. They're coming in live right now. So I wanted to get this video out as quickly as possible to kind of go over. Now, could the semiconductor um, uh, sector be kind of, you know, the catalyst to kind of pull everything and continue this little mini bull rally that we're having and kind of get us out of, you know, this downward trend. As of right now, I can tell you that the ch stock chart does look good. We're going to still have to see what's going on with the conference call. What do they do with that price action? But let's quickly get into what we're looking at here. AMD announced revenue for the fourth quarter of 2022 of $5.6 billion with a gross margin of 43% operating loss of $149 million, net income of 21 million and diluted earnings per share of one cent on a non-GAAP basis gross margin was 51%, okay? So operating income was 1.3 billion, net income was 1.1 billion, and diluted earnings per share was 69 cents. So for full year 2022, the company reported revenue of $23.6 billion in gross margin of 45%, guys. Operating income was 1.3 billion, net income of 1.3 billion and diluted earnings per share of 84 cents on a non-GAAP basis gross margin was 52%, operating income was 6.3 billion, net income was 5.5 billion and diluted earnings per share was $3.50. I'm gonna quickly uh, go over just some of the quarters from 2022 to 2021. Revenue was up 16%. Gross profit was flat. Gross margins was down 740 basis points. Operating expenses was up 109%. Operating income loss was down 112%. Operating margin percentage was down 28%. Uh, and we do have net income down 98%. Earnings per share down 99% from 2021. So if we just kind of look at what's going on here with the actual stock, and let me actually move my chart over so we can actually see what's going on here. Very, very bullish price action here. Whoa, you guys can't see that. Very, very bullish price action here um, on the daily chart on uh, uh, AMD, right? So if we kind of look at where we finished today, we kind of came down into this rising demand, reclaim the five day moving average. Everything looks kind of good. We've got room into $79.49. If I kind of pull up this hourly chart so we can see exactly where we stopped. And again, if I do that, you guys won't be able to see, but uh, let me go ahead and move this over. So the initial move and the initial kind of reaction on AMD is very, very bullish, right? We still have to see, you know, how does that kind of consolidate? What, are the, what does the overall market want to do, you know, with what they hear on the conference call or, or as the dust settles, right? But if you can kind of see, guys, and this is why I preach tech, technical analysis over everything, right? Even if you didn't know anything about the numbers and you're just a pure technical analysis trader and you knew that AMD was going to report today and you kind of just wanted to play the technicals, as soon as we popped over this linear regression line here in the after hour session at around $76, you could have taken uh, an extended hours trade here on shares and played that into $78.57. Why would you have sold at $78.57? Guys, because it's on our charts. It's on our charts already. And I know nothing about, you know, financial numbers and, and what's good for AMD and what's not good for AMD. I mean, of course I can read through the report and, you know, kind of pick and make my own and choose my own opinion. I can, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a dummy, right? Like we, like we, we know like what should be good, what should be bad, but based on what you're looking at on the stock chart here, you don't even need any of that stuff. All you need to know is, Hey, AMD's earnings are reporting. What is our, what is our major level that has given us some troubles in the past here? If we just kind of go back to last Thursday and Friday here, we can see this little bit of a double top before we had this little two-day pullback before we started to rally today. And that price level was of sitting around $76.58. So over $76.58, let's just call it 76 and a half, we knew that potentially, right, potentially we have another $2 worth of airspace. So you could have essentially played this in the after hour session. Now, if you are swinging calls or you bought something as a lotto, what where, do you, where does it kind of go from there, right? 
as we ran into this supply, you know, we still have to see this can completely retrace and come back down and I can see it settling somewhere around 76 and a half. If there's nothing major that kind of sells off, right? If nothing major sells off and it kind of settles there, um, you know, that with IV and in the options premium, you know, those contracts might be down a little bit. They might be flat, you know, it's again it's a lottery right we're going to really need this to kind of push up if we kind of look at the four hour chart here to kind of get a bigger macro perspective we can see this whole again i need to really you know what i need to do is i need to move this box down here okay and i need to move this a little bit more that way so what we're looking at here is if you can kind of see this major resistance level from november as well as uh december here this double top was a troublesome spot before it's also been a troublesome spot pretty much all of january as well right so this earnings is kind of breaking us through that and if we actually look at the top of this wick here it's pretty much taking out this whole channel so if the market is going to continue to push higher right? i know there's a lot of content out there there's a lot of people thinking that we're going to have a massive sell-off which hey it could happen but what i'm saying is that if this is the bottom and we are going to start to consolidate and grind higher consolidate grind higher this is going to be a great spot to kind of look at is these earnings highs is if we start to build over those earnings highs there's going to be a lot of money to be made on the top side if we kind of look at the weekly time frame and kind of exactly see where we stopped in the after hours currently we're trading at around 78 dollars so that 78 dollars is going to match us up with this november's price action we've broken through here and let me make this bigger again it's probably going to go all crazy and i'm going to have to move over here we go let me just zoom out a little bit here so we can all see this perfectly okay if we kind of look at these candlesticks here from november and december that's exactly where we're at now in the after hours so if i just kind of put this trend line here to kind of give you guys a you know a visual reference we're currently trading at around 78 dollars. so let's just put this trend line at around 78 bucks right so we're currently trading here you can also see this bollinger band that we're kind of running into the next major area of supply that we have is sitting at around 81 dollars. so that would be another price target that i would be looking at on amd um, again but as these bollinger bands start to constrict it's telling you one of two things right and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to kind of figure this out as the Bollinger Bands start to contract, that's telling you that the price action is getting ready for a big move. Now, the big move could be long or the big move can be a big drop. We do not know. And it's and no one can really sit there and try to guess and assume where the market is going or whatever. We just have to be ready. I know that if the move starts to fade, I've got a clear line in the sand here below this last channel on the linear regression level of around $68.25. So if AMD starts to lose $68.25, I already know that there's a good chance and a good potential that this scope comes back down within the next one to three months into the $50 range. Now that's not something that I would like to see because everyone has a bigger smile and the sun shines a lot brighter when it's a bull market and stocks are going higher. So if we do break out to the top side, one price level that I would like to see would be that $83 level get reclaimed. That's going to be the weekly 50 day moving average. Now, if AMD does start to reclaim the 50 day moving average and then we get another week or two weeks of consolidation and we start to build over that 50 day moving average, this bear market could be over guys so if we get that price action over that 83 dollars realistically the next macro price target that i have on amd for the next three to four months would be getting back up into that 95 to 100 dollar range that can happen fairly quickly just also you know if you guys are in this trade or you're an investor you're swing trading this you're going to want to take some profits along the way because your next major key zone is going to be 95 dollars and 101 dollars just wanted to deliver you guys the news on amd 
Could AMD be saving the market right now? Again, I know there's a lot of other names to yet to be reported, right? And this can completely reverse by the time you actually watch this video. So if you watch this video after 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and let's say it's you know six hours later and the stock is completely down 10 points, Please don't come at me and, and say, well, the video, you know, since you made the video, the stock is down. Guys, I understand it could be down, but as of right now, the price action off the initial report, the market liked, okay? So could the market be pricing in a 0.25 or a 0.5 move from the Fed? Could we already have that priced in? And as long as earnings are atrocious, right, where companies are filing for bankruptcy or, you know, they got some crazy lawsuit going on, could they kind of pull us out of this mud show? Only time will tell. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys all in the next video. If you guys like to day trade, you guys want to learn how to day trade, you guys want to scalp, make sure to join my Discord go over to evolutiontraders.com, become a lifetime member. The Discord to actually join is free. You don't have to do anything. You know, if you want to join the Discord, it's free. Links down in the description box below. I will see you guys all on the next video.